Good morning, good afternoon. It's noontime, I just got the nod. So welcome to Echo TV. We've got two open houses today. Um, Adam Bendison's gonna be in Jupiter at Xanadu and Victoria LaRusso is gonna be um, in East Point. Um, but first of all, what, um, Adam, what in the world is going on with, uh, you got you got the glasses, you've got the bow tie, it's bow tie Bendison, but is it, are you studying the constitution because of the weekend and everything? What's, what's happening? July 4th, I wanted to help myself remember our preamble and our constitution. Did it help? Of course, I could recite the beginning of the preamble and the constitution from memory now. All schoolhouse rock stuff? Absolutely, I grew up with it. How could I not remember it? Yeah, me, me, uh, me too. I, it was like the the the, uh, the bill was my favorite, and then uh, the one with the trains with the caboose. I don't remember what that one was about, but that's all I remember. Didn't learn that much. As, as I should put my glasses on. <laughs> that's why I put my glasses on. It helps me remember. So you want to you want to start and bring us over to uh, to Xanadu? That would be absolutely wonderful. Thank you. So let me tell you a little bit about Xanadu. So Xanadu is a community on the east coast or just right off of the beach there's actually one road between the beach and xanadu it's a gated community that is in this case has a beautiful uh, home for sale it is on xanadu place as you can see this is the outside of the home i'm going to show you a couple of quick shots of the outside of the home it's got a nice little sitting porch in the front very well taken care of and then when you go inside it's Stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. Already renovated and ready for somebody to move in. This is when you come in the door. This is your main living area. Um, as you can see, it has beautiful stone flooring all throughout. Um, the windows are new. I mean, the views are spectacular. The ocean, the um, sunlight in this house is stunning it has a south east and west views depending upon which end of your house you're in so you get sun all day long um, one of the most magnificent parts of this home is its kitchen if you're a cook like i am this kitchen is absolutely beautiful it's got blue countertops blue natural stone countertops gas range look at the hood and the beams which accentuate the home it shows you how tall that ceiling is um, are brushed steel beams. So it matches everything. The stainless steel is just throughout. You can see from here, it has a wine fridge. It has that beautiful hood. Behind me is a huge refrigerator, stovetop. I mean, it is stunning. We're gonna take another look. Look at those blue countertops. Built-in range, um, wall oven. It just, and the steel beams make it just so, so airy. And as you can see, the kitchen is open into the family room. You can see the family room coming up there. That's a terrific shot of that beautiful hood. I mean, it's just, it's just the centerpiece of the kitchen. There are those beams again. Now this is, you can see the kitchen in the background. This is your family room. So it's terrifically set up for entertaining, socialization, the whole thing. That's the view from the kitchen into the family room, beautiful fireplace there. Um, also statement piece in there. So, and you see this, the flooring is carried right through all the way around. You can actually see that little detail on the edge of that bar. It's also stone as well. It's got a formal dining area. So that if you wanted to entertain, you absolutely can. All these with plantation shutters, as you can see. When you go into the master, the flooring changes a little. As you can see, it has that old um, black and white checkerboard, but a beautifully large plantation shutter, ceiling fan, the whole thing. Um, it has an ensuite. There's your ensuite with two, se two separate pedestal sinks um, and a glass enclosed shower. The second bedroom, the guest bedroom, large enough, that's a queen size bed in there. It is large enough to certainly have guests stay if you wanted to have guests stay and share your um, environment. There's the guest bath, also very well done, very well appointed. It's got a very unique sink. If you look at the countertops, 
the way that the sink sticks out. It's absolutely stunning. Um, it is just one of those communities. Anadu is a gated community um, that has a entry gate, but it has beautiful paths throughout it, walking areas. It's right on one side, it borders Carlin Park, and on the other side, Riverwalk. And not river walk excuse me ocean walk which is another gated community it is literally two minutes from the beach you walk from the home to the beach it's two minutes or as andrew levy who is a listing agent for this property likes to stay it's a minute if you get on a skateboard um you can shop in right around there it's got fabulous fabulous restaurants it's if you're coming down to florida this is a community to live in very well maintained, low HOA fees. It's just terrific. Do you skateboard, Adam? I do not skateboard, but I have three kids that all skate longboard. So I have them all over my house. I even have that electric one, like the hoverboards. Have you tried it? I have, and I have failed miserably and will probably not try it again. It's not my thing and I'm okay with that. They all want to do that. That's because they don't have a convertible like their father does. So, Adam, you were telling me earlier, you're um, going um, today, yesterday, tomorrow. You've got three people that you're working with. Uh, you know, yesterday you were working with multiple people and tomorrow as well. That's correct. I am all over the place. Yesterday I was from Boca on up to Palm Beach Gardens. Today I'm starting in Juneau right after this. I'm going all the way up to Port St. Lucie. I am showing, I showed four properties yesterday, six properties today, and I've got five properties to show tomorrow, July 4th. You know what? It's Independence Day. I studied the constitution, so now I can work on Independence Day. Now, there's gonna be not a lot of fireworks going on, so if you pull three or four deals together, there you go. It's my version of fireworks. You know what, if there are, pe there are people down here for July 4th weekend, and they want to see properties and my philosophy is i'm here to help so if my if your schedule is available i will make my schedule available all right so to get in touch with uh with adam it's uh five six one six three one zero eight one eight or adam at echofineproperties.com um let's just flash it on the screen and uh and thank you adam you're very welcome. And I wish everybody a great July 4th. Make your own fireworks. There you go. All right, so let's go out to East Point now. And uh, Victoria, tell us where you're at. There we go. Hi, I'm at the 6694 East Point Pines in East Point, where this home is about just shy of 2,700 square feet. And it's three bedrooms and three full baths. Has a lovely garden view. And it's in an ideal location, walking distance to the new lifestyle center, which we'll talk about uh, in a bit. Uh, but walking distance to that, which is really makes it a great location. It's got a very open floor plan. This is the living room, the tray ceiling. It's got a um, solar light there, to, uh, to like a tubular, uh, solar light that comes down, gets a lot of natural light in the home. Um, it opens to the kitchen. You can see there, very nice and a bright, big kitchen. Everybody that sees this kitchen kind of comes in and goes, oh, wow, <laughs> it really is quite big. Uh, great space, if you like to cook, there's the ample room there to kind of spread out. Wine cooler there, you see. And it's nice being open to that living room. This is looking back the other direction. Um, through that there is the dining room and then beyond the dining room is the family room. So we'll go there next. There's the dining room. The dining room's actually quite large. You've got, the table is set up for eight. I mean, you could do a table here for 12, no problem. There's plenty of room there. And then we move on to the family room. This house, by the way, has all impact glass, so no worrying about accordion shutters or panels or anything like that. Really nice with the uh, impact glass, nice heavy doors. Those are triple sliders on each side, and they roll, they stack and roll all the way back on themselves so that you can have a nice big opening when the weather is nice. 
Uh, you know, to have all impact glass is such a big deal. You don't really think about it till you know you get into the summer months and this hurricane comes up. But it's such peace of mind. It absolutely is peace of mind, and they're insulating. Um, it's it's really they're expensive. They're really expensive to do. I don't think people realize until they try and swap out windows themselves for hurricane how expensive we've, we've, they are. We've never done it at our house, and it's always uh, it's a scramble. It's there's a lot of anxiety putting somebody over, you know, to put up you know all these panels, and it also blocks out a lot of noise um, having them, and lowers your insurance cost. So there's lots of you know reasons. Exactly. For it. Yeah, it's it's a worthwhile investment. So it's nice when you. It's not very often you find a home in East Point that has all the impact glass. So this is kind of rare um, and really nice. It's um, notice the ceiling in this. This was a condition some time, some years ago. It's a really interesting ceiling, and it's got four skylights in it as well. It's um, I think it's really neat. Well, while we're here, I guess we could step outside. It's got a marble patio, as you can see. There would be room for a small pool if you wanted. Um, you know, some people want a pool in Florida, and some people just don't want a pool. But it's kind of like been there, done that. So either way, but lovely garden view, lots of flowering trees. They flower, I wouldn't say about nine to 10 months a year, which is really nice. This is looking back towards the house. Really nice garden view. And nice, you notice the hedge there too, that separates the home. So you have a nice degree of privacy, which is good. Now, when we were in the family room, there is right there, that door is to a bathroom and then to a bedroom where the entry is over here. So we'll go into that one now. Often this room is, um, there we go. There's the bathroom, really kind of cool stone sink, nicely done. And this room is so large that often as people are touring, they tend to go into this bedroom first and they think it's the master because it's such a nice big room. You've got, um, let's see, that entire wall there is all closets. And then right here, there's another double closet. So the house has great, great storage space, which is great. If we go back towards the front door, the master bedrooms there. One particular thing about this house is of the three bedrooms are all in completely different corners of the house. So you have great privacy. This is the master. And it's got a lovely um, a marble bath as well. Let's see, there we go. And a nice um, frameless glass enclosure around the shower. And here to um, this side is a walk-in closet. And as you actually enter the master bedroom, there are closets on both sides as well. So three closets for the master bedroom, great space. And uh, now we go back to another corner of the house towards the front. And here's the third bedroom. And it's got a walk-in closet as well. So again, back to that good storage space. And here is the uh, guest bath. Now this home, again, it's situated in East Point, which is a wonderful country club. This is the foyer uh, in East Point. They just redid this last year. They've got a lovely dining room there. They do all kinds of parties and activities. There's cards, there's, oh, there's so much. But what's particularly nice and one thing that people are really excited about, as I said at the beginning of this, the home is walking distance to what we're calling the new lifestyle center. This is going to be built. We're expecting to open this probably in January 22. Um, it uh, was just in the Palm Beach Post, by the way, a couple days ago, I don't know if you guys saw it. Uh, they did a nice article about East Point and all that's going on here. But everyone is very excited about this. It's about 15,000 square foot building. It, the, um, let's see, this side is all gym and this side is all restaurant, sports bar, casual dining. And you can flow out for onto the patio. The bar will open up onto the patio as well. Have an aquatics pool for exercise and this pool for beach entry. And there'll be two fire pits uh, as well as a hot tub. So very, very exciting. State of the art gym, fabulous restaurant, lots of TVs, really great place. Uh, I think Rob's rolling a video on it now. 
Beyond yeah, that, yeah, East, Point. East Point has two Fazio Design golf courses. That's the current gym. Of course, this is a tiny compared to what we're going to have. This gym is about 2,500 square feet. There are the two Fazio Design courses. Both courses are, are very different, which is nice. So it's nice to have a variety to play. One of the courses has wider, longer fairways, uh, and the other is narrower, shorter fairways with more water hazards. So it's easy to spice up the day, depending on what you want to play. You can play nine of each, 18, whatever you want to do. Um, tee times are easy to get. Uh, there's no big hold up there. You can drive your own golf cart, keep your own golf cart in the garage, very much a golf cart community, which we love. Uh, you'll often see golf carts piled up on a lawn for dinner or lunch. Great, oh, for great pros we have here too. For Can he help you? Oh, the pros are great here. We've got some really good pros. They really know how to communicate and kind of get you going the right direction. Whether you've been playing a long time or whether you're new at it. Um, and there's all kinds of groups that you can join, whether again, it's serious or whether it's casual and who cares if your ball goes in or not kind of thing. I mean, it's there's something for everyone. Uh, beyond that, they have uh, book clubs and card rooms and photography clubs. There's all kinds of things to do. And the housing ranges from small condos that are around 150,000 on up to homes between seven and 800,000. So you've got a nice variety here, truly a nice variety. And the location is fantastic. We are nine minutes to Juno Beach and 12 minutes to uh, the airport. I mean, it's it's that. It, it is to, to me. It's flabbergasting that you can get a condo in the in the ones and eat for what it is and have for and for four grand join the club. I mean, it's it's really crazy because that same condo somewhere else goes for hundreds of thousands of dollars more um, within it. You know, so it's and you get the added benefit and the, the cost is nothing to join. It is nothing to join when you consider that. Um, the area clubs charging 130,000 plus uh, on top of the purchase of a home to join for full full golf and it's mandated and often tied to the home purchase. That's not the case here. Um, to join for full golf, they do have a $7,500 initiation fee, but that, that's it. And um, the fees in general, that's the card room. The fees in general are very, very reasonable. Um, and it includes tennis, it includes pickleball, it includes the pools. It includes all kinds of activities and they even have a playground now. Um, they built that playground because there are actually 170 kids that live in East Point. Uh, it's a good school district and also for, you know, some of the younger grandparents that are just having their first round of grandchildren. So it's nice. It's, to I, I think it's one of those clubs that even if you're not considering, you know, sometimes you get people, I don't want to join a, a, a club membership and they don't look at East Point because they assume, but because you can join for so cheap, and sometimes the homes are um, like the condos are a hundred grand off versus another location like it. It more than pays for itself. Um, so th there's just great return for the location it is and all that all that has to offer. The, the value is incredible. The value is incredible. A lot of the homes uh, for quite some time were well. Obviously, it's a thirty year old community, so a lot of them were kind of in need of rehab. But that kind of has changed a lot now. A lot of the homes have been refurbished and the values have actually been skyrocketing. I think a lot because you get tend to get larger lots here, uh, which people enjoy compared to the new construction, Alton and whatnot, for your zero lot line. Um, you've got a, a lot more space here. And again, it's a gated, secure community, which people love and you can't beat the location. You can get to the beach, the restaurants, it's awesome. The builder that me and you were talking about earlier today, who was looking for his mom, you know, and, and was thinking, looking at, at your in East Point, I and mean, they just know where the, you know, and, and that's somebody who really shops value. They know where the value is, and East Point is just has to be, I think, one of the best values out there. Right now. Yeah, and I, to be honest with you, um, I with the prices rising so much, and with the all this new lifestyle center coming, I think the uh, word value won't be there for long. They're catching up with the rest of the county, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, it's a great place. It's a happy place to be. If you'd like to know more, 
feel free to reach out to me, 561-531-4977 or Victoria at Equifine Properties. Let me put your um, information on the screen just for uh, people who didn't have it. So if you want to talk to Victoria, Victoria, give a, give a shout out and let's put your phone number on the screen. 561-531-4977 or Victoria at Echo Fine Properties. All right. And uh, Rob, do we have anything else this afternoon? We do. We have uh, at one o'clock, uh, Debbie Gross will be joining me. And Jeff, you know who's back. It's Potions in Motion. Jason Savino, the owner there, the sexy chef. Uh, we've covered, I feel like I know these guys uh, through this virtual Zoom we've been doing with them. But um, today, they're actually, they're back to normal now, which is good for them. They're, they're starting their catering events again, and they're going to talk about micro events. So micro weddings, micro catering. I, I don't know. We're going to find out what he's got in store. Jason always has... He's a step ahead. Those guys are so far ahead of the, the curve with everything. But I think like a micro event, is that like, so somebody's going to do a wedding and they're going to have 20 people there? I think. You know, for it? Yeah, it looks like it looks like on a smaller scale, uh, but the, the catering and, you know, he sent me some pictures. Let me see. I'll, I'll pull one up really quick uh, here. Um, you know, they're showing that they're taking the safety precautions with the masks. Um you know, and then I guess this is some of the some of the things that, that looks actually good. What is that? I don't know. We'll find out. That's uh, some veggies with what is that, Adam? Some dipping sauce. Looks good. Looks good. But, yeah, uh, tomatoes and. So yeah, so he they're gonna do like this. a crudite in a in a glass. Yeah, it looks good. But Jason, I mean Jeff, you know as as we've previewed him numerous times now, always a step ahead like you said the father's day in a box the steak in a box all this different stuff in a box and now i guess you know they're back to normal so these micro events uh you know so great great business owner there out of um out of the boca area hey adam what are, what are you cooking right these days right now i am actually not cooking that much because as you know my youngest son is starting culinary institute of america in September, so he has been practicing and practicing and practicing. What, what's the best dish? So let's see, the other day he made lobster tail with mushroom risotto, mashed potatoes, and grilled cauliflower. He makes homemade pizza. I believe tonight he's planning some type of Asian shrimp dish. Oh. Yeah, we, that sounds better. We've been, we had the Gordon's Fisherman and uh, <laughs> Little Stouffer's uh, pizza. <laughs> is, he, is he doing CIA in New York? Yes, he. Le yeah, he's doing CIA in New York. As of September, he moves in. Wow. Exciting! Very exciting. That Hope awesome. that goes well. So all he does is that. Now he's off to buy. He needs a new knife. He needed pots and pans. So depending upon what he buys, is what he cooks with. That that. Did he sharpen up his skills by this whole thing? Yeah, he did. And actually, the other day. He, we went and bought him his graduation gift, which is um, he wanted a very, very specific knife, chef's knife. So while we were in William Sonoma purchasing his new knife, he was talking to somebody there and they offered to hire him as a holiday demonstrator for Christmas time. Oh. Yeah, perfect. That's great. <laughs> that is great. That's and as much right, as I, I didn't put on the quarantine 15, now I'm putting on the post quarantine 15 now that he started to cook again. Always good to have a chef in the house. Yeah, the, the, the Gordon's Fisherman helps keep the weight off. <laughs> 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 they have a, it's like, it's, it's fresh, uh, never cut like fillets, whatever that means. Cut fillets. <laughs> it's the fish it's version of chicken nuggets. <laughs> fish nuggets. Yeah, fish nuggets. All right, so that's it for today. So for myself, uh, Rob Moore, um, Adam uh, Bowtie Bendison, and Victoria LaRusso, have a wonderful weekend and so long, everybody. See you later. Happy 4th. <laughs>